Okay, so in this last example, uh, number three, solve the right triangle below. So we have right triangle S, T, and P. And we are provided with the uh, measurements wherein S is equal to 12. And then we have one angle. So angle P is 53 degrees. So we are again going to solve for this. Okay, now... Uh, there is again no problem in getting the measurement of angle S because all we need to do is to subtract it from 180, the sum of the two. Okay, so 90 and 53. So we say that measure of angle S is equal to 180 degrees minus, so 90 degrees plus 53 degrees. Okay? And then, uh, let's just have it shortcut. Okay, so measure of angle S, just input that in your calculator. So, 180 minus the sum of this, 90 degrees plus 53. So, we will get 37 degrees. So, that's our angle S. Okay, now, so, we're going to solve for the remaining two sides. So, we have side P and side P. T. Okay, now, if we look at P, so P here, okay, and then with respect to our angle, 53 degrees, so we have also the measurement here, which is 12 for S. Now, uh, looking at our trigonometric ratios, so Soka, Towa, so we say that we have here an opposite, okay, so looking at P, Okay, we can solve P. And then adjacent to 53 degrees. So, towa. So, we are going to use tangent. So, tangent 53 degrees will be equal to uh, towa, opposite. So, that's P over uh, 12. Okay? So, again, we just try to cross multiply. So, this will be 12 times tangent 53 degrees is equal to P. Okay? And then, just type in your calculator. So, the value for this will be P is equal to 15.9. So, one decimal place. So, that is 15.9. Now, let's try to solve T. So, we have side T. Now, Again, looking at our angle, which is 53 degrees, we're going to choose. So, which of the three trigonometric ratios is applicable? Sine, cosine, or tangent? Now, in this case, okay, again, uh, we can say that this is the hypotenuse and 12 is adjacent. So, meaning to say that will be cosine, so ka. So, Let's use cosine. So, cosine 53 degrees is equal to so ka adjacent, that is 12, over hypotenuse. So, that is T. So, that's the missing. Now, again, we, we just cross multiply. So, this will be T okay, times cosine 53 degrees equals 12. Now, since we are looking for the value of T and we have cosine 53 degrees, so we just divide it by cosine 53 degrees. Okay? So, divide both sides by cosine 53 degrees. Okay? We do this because we want only to uh, isolate the variable T. Okay? So, that T will just remain in our left side okay, of the equation. So, cancel this. Okay, so T is equal to 12 over cosine 53 degrees. Now, input that in your calculator. So, our value for T will be 19.9. Uh, okay, round off to one decimal place again. So, that's it. So, we are complete already. So, again, let's try to draw and label our right triangles. Okay. So, this is uh, 
angle S. So, angle S is 37 degrees. Okay? Then, uh, I'm sorry, the orientation is not the same. Okay? So, let me just repeat that. So, erase. Okay, let me erase. So, let's draw it in terms of the same orientation. Okay? As that figure above. So, suppose this is again our right triangle. Okay? So, this is S and then T and P. So, our angle S is 37 degrees. Okay? Our angle P is 53 degrees. That's given. And then, uh, the value for P. So, P is equal to 15.9. The value of S is given. So, that is 12. And then, our T, which is the hypotenuse, is equal to 19.9. Alright, so that is uh, how we solve this given triangle. Okay, so that's example number 3.